Let's face it, how many of us aren't gadget freaks? So I was really excited when Harden Power Systems uh, sent me this little guy. It's called the Nano LED, and it is just that. This little guy looks like a pretty indestructible little tool uh, that's going to give you about one watt of uh, bright bright LED light I mean this is it's just enough light to operate in the dark uh, in the dark spaces of ham radio uh, you can use it at field day you could throw one of these things in an emergency pack uh, the it works with this touch screen on the back and it is very very cool it's got a one watt LED array of light it's not sealed but it feels pretty damn indestructible to me bill harrison over at uh, hardened power systems is uh really on the cutting edge of doing the um 3d printing and so all the cases for these things are 3d printed i have no clue how he uh, sealed this thing up but man it is tight it isn't coming apart and I don't know how they got everything to work inside. Um, the fit and finish is, uh, is very nice. It's not smoothed out like something you'd see uh, from a stamped piece of plastic. It's obviously uh, 3D printed. But it uh, does look uh, very, very cool for what it is. And what this thing is, is a very, very bright and very cool little LED light that plugs into any USB power supply and that's really what I like so let's uh, plug it in to a power supply here I got my handy dandy little uh, USB uh, extender or adapter there the cool thing is these things will go in either direction so it doesn't matter what uh, what direction you want to face it and look at that man that thing just blinds you so anyway, this little guy is infinitely adjustable. And uh, you, you just put your finger on the back. It'll either go up or down, or you could tap it and turn it off. It's pretty cool. It works great. And here I'm going to put a couple of little props in uh, just to show you how the exposure is and, and what it really looks like. And that is my new... Uh, an EDC top by Billet Spin. Uh, those are a lot of fun and it keeps me occupied. Anyway, um, off and uh, we'll turn it on here. And that's at a low setting. So, you know, and then you could turn it up, turn it down, move it all around here and get uh, just the right amount of light on your subject. To power this little guy up in the field, uh, I've uh, also seen this little nano USB converter converts uh, power pole, uh, Anderson power poles to a standard USB. It's uh, three amps and another little deal here from Harden Power Systems, again, it's a 3D printed uh, body, and I have no idea how they pack the, uh, uh, the guts of this thing in there, but it also comes with a, uh, an LED that tells you, or a light that tells you that it's on and ready to go when it's plugged in. Uh, again, the, uh, the nano LED can plug in either direction, the uh, nano USB, you only want to plug that in in one direction. So here we're going to test it out. This would be a real world kind of a scenario. You've got your uh, PowerWorks uh, power supply there and a tuner and you want to write your log. It's, uh, it's nighttime now. It's field day. And uh, how are you going to do that? Well, let's put the uh, nano uh, LED into the uh, into the socket there, and now it's on, and we can just uh, press it, turn it on, and there you go. 
you've got a nice work light and it's infinitely dimmable. When you bring it down to the lowest power setting, it's still very, very useful, but it won't ruin your night vision, which is really important in an MCOM situation. Hey, these things are ultra, ultra cheap at $22 for a two pack of the lights, 20 bucks for the, uh, the Nano USB. I, you know what? I would order these things for everybody on my Christmas list this year and uh, and be done with uh, be done with Christmas and give people a nice useful gift or keep a whole bunch for yourself. Uh, anyway, you can get them from uh, Harden Power Systems and I'll put their website in the uh, link.